I thank you for my name is Amos Oibo Ojoko from Kuwarijo Kagini Group. I thank you for the Lord has done what, what the Lord has done to me. Right from uh, April, I have an issue of eye with weather light. It affected the eye. When I went to the hospital last, last May, they discovered that the eye has been damaged. I cannot be able to see forever. Like I say, Jesus, he did not brought me for this world with one eye. I will not return with one eye. That is my prayer. I went back to, to, to my house. I just sat down inside room. I couldn't, I couldn't be able to see outside. I went, I discovered that Jesus is coming to Abuja on divine connection. I started praying on inside room. I said to oh, God, you connect me tonight and I will recover my life in the name of Jesus. I continue praying. On the day, our day that is 25 of divine connection, I, tr I struggled to come outside. I couldn't be able to come outside. They now drove me to uh, our my, our car. I started inside and wear my gogu, this weather gogu. And when I reached for the Kado estate, I reached church. I inside the, on the gallery, the home me. I said to oh God, you will reconnect me. As you say, wherever you have problem, you'll be reconnect tonight. I lay my hand on my on my eye. Before you know, I discover everything in my eye. Instantly it just open. I open my Bible and read instantly that that, that day. Thank Praise you. Praise the Lord. Shout hallelujah. The Lord touched him. The eyes got healed. What the doctors, what medication, what injection, what capsule could not do. They told him it was damaged forever, but the Lord did it free of charge. It is well. We are victorious in Jesus' name. Amen. Now let's listen to the next testifier. Praise the Lord. I'm Stokoroj Happiness by name from Potter's District Possibility Group, Orozo Region. Praise the Lord. It was last year my children told me that something was on my back. I told them it will go. I kept hope alive. I was not too bothered, but I became concerned. A day came. My husband said, Is that this is growing? You no. Know? Say, growing to here? It was a problem. I started praying about it. Last month's program, when Jesus was praying, I placed my hand on the place. It was still strong. It did not go. But I believe God. On this month 16, my children said, Mommy, go to the hospital and see doctor. I said, Doctor, when we are having a program, divine solution, there will be solution in Jesus' name. I believed God. On 16th, I mean, on 21st of this month, as we enter the week of divine solution, praise the Lord! On 21st of this month, I finished my bed, I came out. I felt something on my back. I touched it. It was soft. I pressed it. I called my children, come and see. They pressed it. They pressed it. They pressed it. Everything vanished. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. The week of divine solution, the Lord began with me. Praise the Lord. Amen. Put your hands together for Jesus. She believed divine solution came and the problem, the swelling, the affliction on her back disappeared. And that's how whatsoever the enemy has put in your life, in your body, is disappearing in Jesus' name. Amen. Let's listen to the next testifier now. Praise the Lord. Church, I say praise you the Lord. That hallelujah is too weak for my Jesus. Church, I say praise you the Lord. Hallelujah. My name is Emmanuel Opara. I'm from Kabadi Street, Kagini Group, Kubwa region. My testimony goes like this. It started on the, 20, on the 4th of June, 2020. When I, when I went to the restroom for two for to help myself, for to ease myself, I discovered that I stood out blood. And I, I thought it was just a minor something. And that was how the, the issue continued. It continued till December. Like when it became another thing, someone advised me, say, seek the harbor way. So I traveled home, like took many kinds of, you know, herbs. Nothing happened. But brethren, there's something about that divine connection crusade. And when the, the divine connection crusade came, 
I just, I just believed God. Even though I've run different kinds of tests, a doctor looked at it and said, see, everything is okay with you. There's nothing wrong with you. So I just believed God like he's going to do it for me. But to the glory of God, after Papa's prayer that night, brethren, I went home, you know, a week after that crusade, I discovered that the blood stooling ceased. And to today, till today, nothing is there again. Praise ye the Lord. Hallelujah. Praise ye the Lord. Hallelujah. Ah, Put your hands together for Jesus. The Lord has done it for him. The stooling of blood ceased through the ministration of the man of God. And the Lord who has done it for him, he has done your own also tonight. You need to come out and give your testimony. Let's have the next testifier. Praise the Lord. I say praise the Lord. By the grace of God, my name is Christopher Sarki. Hausa District, Pentecost Group, Karu Region. I want to testify what God has done in my life. There was a time that is I was passing, uh, that is blood was gushing out of my bumble. And I even tied napkin. And I don't know what to do. By the time of divine touch, when I went to the crusade, then uh, our Father and the Lord, that, that time was uh, having the topic of the woman that have an issue of blood. I said, this is my own time. When he preached, and I got my miracle instantly. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. At the same time, I cannot read without eyeglass, but that day, I can read without glass. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Double miracle, double blessing you receive in Jesus' name. This uh, blood issue, issue of blood sees, and the Lord healed his eye. He could read without glasses. Whatsoever may be the challenge in your life. Miracle for you in Jesus' name. Miracle for you in Jesus' name. Check yourself. We are waiting for you. Media section, get ready. We're coming over, spotlighting and the social media. We want to praise the Lord together now. And then we resume testimonies. As we're doing that, come over and testify. Sing that song along, sing along. It's a miracle working God. It's a miracle working God. As we sing, come out and share your testimony to the left hand side here. Come and glorify the Lord with your testimony. Amen. Is the Alpha and Omega. We've heard this evening, Jesus the same. Tell me, Jesus the same. Yesterday, today, and forever. He did it of old, he's doing it again, and he will do it again. Amen. Social media and spotlighting now. Multiple testimonies coming from the social media. We travel all the way to London for a live testimony of the great things the Lord is doing. London Live. <laughs> My name my is Lonnie is Lonnie. My name is Lonnie. 
really thank God for what God did on the first day of the crusade. I was seriously sick that I cannot even walk. And normally I connect on time, but that day I was just lying down. But my husband came to call me that the program had started. But by the grace of God, I managed myself to go and sit down and listen. I was just listening to the message and to the glory of God, God was ministering to me through the message of IGS, manifesting faith for your divine solution. Point three got me and encouraged me that present fact from a divine savior is the truth, not the pain that I was going through that day. So God increased my faith, and the, and by the grace of God, we were told to uh, to pray, and uh, we were told to raise up our hands and touch wherever we are aching. And by the grace of God, I just believe in the in the prayer of our Father in the Lord. When He prayed, by the, I went though I was still having the pain because it was so serious, and the thought was even coming that oh. Maybe it is COVID, but I say Jesus did not have uh, COVID, and it's not my portion in Jesus' name. So I just went to sleep. By the morning, all the pain has gone, but I managed myself to join the, because we have, by the grace, I fellowship in one of the outside London and church, 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 and I was able to go because we have a welcoming program for the university graduates that are resuming this September. I, but I went with a group and I was just standing up, sharing the word of God and giving out track. And all the symptoms disappeared. I couldn't even notice anything again. And by the end of that uh, program, I don't know how many hours I was able to stand up, but by the end, all the pain disappeared. My throat, everything was no more aching. And to the glory of God, I am healed. No, nothing like COVID symptoms again. And I'm totally healed. I'm just praising the Lord. And if you are there trusting God for anything, just have faith in God. And you will rejoice in Jesus' name. Praise God. And now we have some more testimonies coming from the social media. It's great to know that the media team monitored the social media today and discovered that people wrote their testimonies online. And as soon as the prayer of the man of God was over, testimonies began to roll in. One of such is this. We have from Edmonton, Canada. We have Sister Adenike Fashion, who has been having pains and difficulty in swallowing for about three days. But after the prayer of the man of God, all the pains were gone, and now she can drink, she can eat, she can swallow without any pain. Praise the Lord. Olabi Yahweh wrote, I'm giving this testimony on behalf of my nephew's son, who has been using walking stick for over a year now. After the prayer of the man of God tonight, hear this. He threw the walking stick away and began to walk by the miraculous power of God. Online, praise the Lord. And now we take this coming all the way from Oyo State. This testimony is that of a right hand that um, could not be used, that miraculously got healed not just that alone this same person sabi to kende this same person he's been having severe leg pains and not able to walk but after the prayer of the man of god despite having tried several orthodox and native means to get killed but he was invited to the program and after the prayer of the man of god he received his miracle and he began to walk and to jump and to shout with joy. Praise the Lord. And before we take you to another live testimony, this one comes straight from New Zealand, very far away. Here is Mart from New Zealand. He watched the broadcast from New Zealand 
on Facebook and he said, I yelled on Facebook after finding out that a problem I have carried for many years disappeared after the prayers of the man of God. Praise the Lord. And now we go to Southeast Nigeria in West Africa here, Abba Abia State, live. Praise the Lord. Praise Master Jesus. My name is Sister Ijoma Ibowolundu. I want to testify the goodness of God in my life. How God delivered me and healed me from asthmatic cough of 17 years. Praise God. In the year 2003, I developed sick. I was sick. That sickness, I went to many hospitals, they say it's pneumonia. From that pneumonia, they say it has accumulated to, it has developed to asthmatic cough. I spent a lot of money. Some people collected 30,000 saying that they will treat, but for, for not in vain. I, I will spend money sometimes. I will buy inhalers in the night in order to help me. Sometimes I will use the inhaler, but it will not work. A lot of things. I always live in drugs. But in the month of June, when I came here, the attack started right here in the church. I sent one of my sons to go and buy drugs for me. But when I got home, I could not see that drugs. That was during divine connection. I don't know that the Lord wants to show me a miracle. I searched for the drugs. I searched for it. I could not see because the attack started in the church here to develop. But I slept that night, I didn't even remember, we started taking drugs from that June to this July. Rain had beaten me every day, I never had this attack. But before, if rain touches me, I will neither sleep in the night. In the night, the thing will develop, I'll be breathing hard, sometimes I will add some pillows in order to sleep. Looking for a inhaler to help myself, but to God be the glory. After that uh, divine connection, the Lord healed me. Till today, I never had that attack. Praise the Lord. I said, the Lord who did this to me, he will do your own for you in Jesus' name. And now we go to Calabar, South, South Nigeria, West Africa. Calabar Live. Praise the Lord. Brethren, praise the living God. Amen. My name's our brother Jerry Odu of Enema District, 8 Miles Group, Calabar Region. On this divine solution crusade, our mother in the Lord there says, Write down your request because she has written her own prayer request. I wrote down my prayer request on my sleeves because the pains I have been having in my hand was so severe that I couldn't bear it on this, my right hand. But as I wrote down the prayer request at the end of the message where our father prayed and said, wherever you have your pains, put your hands there. I took my left hand and hold the right hand and lift it up. Praise the living God. At the end of the message, he says, check yourself. The, 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 uh, 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 something has happened. I check. As I check myself, behold, life and direct. Though that pains vanish. And this hand, I can raise it up. I take it here. I take it here. My brother, the Lord has done it for me in Jesus' name. Amen. And now, before we bring you the next live testimonies, we have some striking testimonies on social media. All the way from YouTube, we have serious pains in the tongue, COVID-19, 
three years also all disappear listen to them their story they say my name is Eze Unaimeka from Abuja after the prayers of the man of God the serious wound on my tongue disappeared Eunice blessed from YouTube he says that she wants to testify of how the Lord healed her and her family from COVID-19, COVID-19 still bowing. And this one from the GS official Facebook page, Ezekiel Turco. Three years also after the prayer of the man of God tonight disappeared. Praise the Lord. And now, and now we'll take you to Edo State, South South Nigeria. Edo State, South South Nigeria, West Africa. Edo Live. My name is Brother Bilo Samuel Uluwato Biloba from Bene East Region, Edo State. By the grace of God, I am saved. I want to testify to the goodness of God. To the glory of God and to the shame of the devil. It happened a few years ago, it started a few years ago, that I began to feel this pain, sharp pain, in my lower part of my abdomen. And I went to the hospital where I was diagnosed for PUD. They call it peptic ulcer disease. And all along, I've been using drugs, taking drugs. And just a few months ago, I decided to go on herbs. When I started, in fact, the pain became so excruciating. Just on Friday, when the man of God was preaching, after the preaching, I told myself, today, I will receive my healing. And when he told us that we should touch wherever that is paining us, that we are having problems whatsoever, what I did, I used to touch my tummy before, but I said, no, it will start from my head. So I laid my hand upon my head. And when I did that, the man of God prayed. The following day, in the morning, my wife gave me food. I ate. From there, I went to the office. From the office, I came to the church for the crusade in the evening without eating any other thing. I didn't feel any pain. Before, I cannot stay for long intervals within my meals, breakfast, lunch, or dinner without having that pain. But now I stayed for longer hours than yesterday. I never felt any pain. Even up to now, then I began to think about it. I said, my wife, I no longer feel this pain. Yesterday, I didn't feel this pain. Today, I didn't feel this pain. She said, you have to testify. Then I raised up my hand. Praise the Lord. And the Lord is also touching men, women. And just before we link back to our state overseer, let's inform you of these other ones on social media. Children are receiving divine solution. A girl of 11 years old was healed of a long, persistent arm pain. And you can see her on your screen with her hands raised. She couldn't raise that hand according to her parents. But after the prayers of the man of God tonight, all that pain disappeared and she can now raise her hand her name is faith amos praise the lord and now we take this all the way from lagos state of this sister who has been suffering for 29 years 29 years of arthritis and rheumatism but after the prayer of the man of god she received her complete healing and we have this coming from blessing omega from youtube in fact, it is a multiple, multiple, multiple miracle galore. According to her, she received her healing, her marriage got restored, her children got back from foster care, and she's gotten her dream job. Praise the Lord. I will have this also from um, Angela Francis from YouTube. 
She say, I mean, she, 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 according to her writing, she's been having persistent cold, cough, and after the prayer of the man of God, everything vanished. Still from YouTube, Adeweso Abigail says that she's been feeling serious pain in her left hand. But while the pastor was praying tonight, it was as if the pain was becoming worse. But she believed God for a miracle. And at the end of the prayer, something about the final amen, the pain vanished completely. With our return to our state overseer, miracles happening everywhere. Miracle everywhere. Put your hands together for Jesus. Put your hands together for Jesus. North, south, east, west, and outside the nation, all the nations, the power of God is.